Hey, it's Luke here from Puppeteer Painting Studio. Welcome to the second part of Caldor Drago tutorial. I'm going to kick things off right where we left off with the highlights on some of the bits of the model that need highlighting. So I'm going to do Bestial Brown over the books and the brown bits in between the armour. Now, just a heads up, I don't know all the new colours that the Games Workshop range do, so I'll probably post a link to a list of what I think is suitable sort of like uh, matches for the new colour range. But in the meantime, just giving you the colours that I use. So Bestial Brown for the highlight on the brown and red gore for the purity skills. Now we're going to do the force weapon, as you can see it just builds up from green to white. Now I'll, I'll go over this again in a second, but just so you can see now you've got the separate stages building up. Just a case of blending the darker green into the into the white by adding lighter colours. So I went from dark angels green all the way up to white. And then you're finishing it off with a white lines all the way down the sides in the middle. To kind of really bring it out, separate the colours, finish off the the detail. So as you can see you've got dark angels green blending slightly into snot green and then snot green into goblin green and then white again just mixed up all the way to pure white pure skull white again I'm not sure on all the colour ranges and how they mix match uh, sorry match into the, the new range but there we go and on the wires you see uh, sunburst yellow um, which has had a devil in white mud wash as well as have all the purity seals at this point And again, just having a look over the sword. The vial on the front as well has had a slight progression of highlights from uh, using Codex Grey all the way up to Brilliant White. Uh, the books and the parchments get yeah, bleach bone. Just a little highlight. Again, you don't want to have too much here, it's just sort of the, the most predominant bits. Finally, it's just a case of highlighting the last little bits, so blood red on the purity seal and the little details on the purity seals and the books. So all the little bits of writing, just a case of getting a really thin brush and doing a few little lines. don't need to go over the top with them, otherwise it doesn't look that great. And that's it really. Um, the blending and the, the black lines do take a lot of patience and I would recommend just trying it out for yourself. Like I could do a video on actually how to do advanced blending and wet blending and stuff but that wasn't really the purpose of this video. It's more just to give an overview of painting a Drago in a certain way. Um, I may well do a video of blending at some point in the future um, but as I say the best thing to do is just to try it out yourself and not be afraid to learn from your mistakes. That's how we all uh, all learn and progress. I mean, these videos can can teach you so much, but you won't actually develop the techniques unless you give it a go yourself. So that's everything. Drago is all finished. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment below. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, let me know what you think. How you would paint your Drago. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.